I'm just making myself lunch slash breakfast and I thought I would jump in really quickly. Um, I got a quick little tip for you. Anybody suffer from cellulite? Anybody? I guess suffering is probably not the right word, but have, has cellulite and they don't like it. And you've specifically uh, on the thighs and the hips and you go to the gym and you try and get rid of it and you can't get rid of it. Um, well, why can't you get rid of the cellulite on your thighs and your hips when you are um, exercising? And I'm just gonna put you here because I'm gonna continue to make some food. Okay, so the reason is because it is potentially a potassium issue. So um, it may be worth your while to check in with how much potassium you're taking in. I think we could be taking 4,700 milligrams of potassium a day and the average is like in the hundreds. So definitely not in the thousands. So when potassium levels are low, um, we end up with this look of cellulite in and around the legs. Um, the other issue may be um, that you require more movement. So even though the exercise may be helping, being able to move around and kind of drain um, in and around the lymph nodes that are there also helps to reduce that look of cellulite in the legs, um, in the hips and thighs. So it doesn't necessarily have to be exercise, but what I'm learning is that a good number of our archetypes require some sort of morning movement. A lot of people do really well with like early morning intense exercises and then there's the people that don't. I am not an early morning person. Um, I think the most that I would do is probably chase somebody if they were too bright and shiny. I just want to like throw them in the garbage, but I that was my filtered response. Um, but any kind of morning movement, uh, whether it be like 10 or 15 minutes of yoga, like flowing, could be a quick walk. I actually bought myself a mug that I could take outside. And here's my mug. I just, just bought it from Tim Hortons. Um, so that I can actually introduce just a little bit more morning movement. So besides going on my bike, I'm gonna uh, start to take my dog out for some early morning walks um, just to get some movement going. So those are actually ways that you can uh, get rid of the look of the cellulite on your thighs and hips. Anyway, I'm going to go back. Hey, Jen. How you doing, beautiful? Mary Ann, it's good to see you as well. So go back and watch this. These are just tips on how to get rid of the cellulite on your thighs and hips because it's actually not fat. What? I know. You're welcome. Love you lots. Bye.